Matsami Shell Perched on a rocky islet in the midst of vast sandbanks exposed to powerful tides, at the limit between Normandy and Brittany, stands Wonder of the West, a Gothic-style Benedictine abbey dedicated to the Archangel Saint Michel, and the village that grew up in the shadow of its walls. Built between the 11th and 16th centuries. Hi everyone, welcome back into my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video we are going to learn explore a gothic style Benedictine Abbey dedicated to the Archangel Saint Michel. La Mont Saint Michel is a tidal island and mainland commune in Normandy, France. The island lies approximately 1 km (0.6 miles) off the country's northwestern coast, at the mouth of the Quinone River near Avranche, and is 7 hectares (17 acres) in area. The mainland part of the commune is 393 hectares (971 acres) an area so that the total surface of the commune is 400 hectares (988 acres). The Quinone is a river running from the department of Mayenne in northwestern France, forming an estuary at Mont Saint Michel. It is 97.8 kilometers (60.8 miles) long, and its drainage basin is 1,124 square kilometers (434 square miles). Its final stretch forms the border between the historical duchies of Normandy and Brittany. Its historically irregular course alternating between two beds on the north and south of the Mont Saint Michel but eventually definitely settling to the south bed, inspired the saying the Quinone in its madness placed the Mont in Normandy. The commune's position, on an island just a few hundred meters from land, made it accessible at low tide to the many pilgrims to its abbey, but defensible as an incoming tide stranded, drove off, or drowned would-be assailants. The island remained unconquered during the Hundred Years' War, a small garrison fended off a full attack by the English in 1433. Louis XI King of France recognized the reverse benefits of its natural defense and turned it into a prison. The abbey was used regularly as a prison during the ancient regime. Louis entered into open rebellion against his father in a short-lived revolt known as the Progery in 1440. The king forgave his rebellious vassals, including Louis, to whom he entrusted the management of the Dauphiné, then a province in southeastern France. Mont Saint Michel and its surrounding bay were inscribed on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in 1979 for its unique aesthetic and importance as a medieval Christian site. It is visited by more than 3 million people each year. Over 60 buildings within the commune are protected in France as monuments historique. Built between the 11th and 16th centuries, the abbey is a technical and artistic tour de force having had to adapt to the problems posed by this unique natural site. Thus, the practical and aesthetic solutions inscribed in the stones of the edifice are henceforth inseparable from its natural environment. Now a rocky tidal island, the Mont occupied dry land in prehistoric times. As sea levels rose, erosion reshaped the coastal landscape, and several outcrops of granite emerged in the bay having resisted the wear and tear of the ocean better than the surrounding rocks. These included Lillimer, the Mont Dole, Tumilane, the island just to the north, and Mont Tombe, later called Mont Saint Michel. Mont Saint Michel consists of Luca granite which solidified from an underground intrusion of molten magma about 525 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, as one of the younger parts of the Montellian granitic batholith.
Batholith is a large mass of intrusive igneous rock, also called plutonic rock, larger than 100 square kilometers, 40 square miles, in area, that forms from cooled magma deep in Earth's crust. Batholiths are almost always made mostly of felsic or intermediate rock types, such as granite, quartz monzonite, or diorite. The tides vary greatly, at roughly 14 meters, 46 feet, between highest and lowest watermarks. Popularly nicknamed Saint Michael in peril of the sea by medieval pilgrims making their way across the flats, the mount can still pose dangers for visitors who avoid the causeway and attempt the hazardous walk across the sands from the neighboring coast. Polarization and occasional flooding have created salt marsh meadows that were found to be ideally suited to grazing sheep. The connection between the Mont Saint Michel and the mainland has changed over the centuries. Previously connected by a tidal causeway uncovered only at low tide, this was converted into a raised causeway in 1879, preventing the tide from scouring the silt around the mound. The coastal flats have also been polarized to create pasture land, decreasing the distance between the shore and the island, and the Quinone River has been canalized reducing the dispersion of the flow of water. Mont Saint-Michel was used in the 6th and 7th centuries as an Armorican stronghold of Gallo-Roman culture and power until it was ransacked by the Franks, thus ending the trans-channel culture that had stood since the departure of the Romans in 460. This Benedictine abbey, founded in 966, was erected on a sanctuary dedicated to the Archangel Michel since 708 and conserves some vestiges of the Romanesque period. The older part of the present abbey, the small pre-Romanesque church with a double nave, Notre Dame Souterre, in granite masonry and flat bricks, dates back undoubtedly to the 10th century. Before the construction of the first monastic establishment in the 8th century, the island was called Mont Tombe according to a legend, the Archangel Michael appeared in 708 to Aubert of Avranges, the Bishop of Avranges, and instructed him to build a church on the rocky islet. Unable to defend his kingdom against the assaults of the Vikings, the King of the Franks agreed to grant the Cotentin Peninsula and the Avranchen including Mont Saint-Michel traditionally linked to the city of Avranche, to the Bretons in the Treaty of Compiègne, 867. In 1067 the monastery of Mont Saint-Michel gave its support to William the Conqueror in his claim to the throne of England. This he rewarded with properties and grounds on the English side of the channel, including a small island off the southwestern coast of Cornwall which was modeled after the mount and became a Norman priory named St. Michael's Mount of Penzance. During the Hundred Years' War, the Kingdom of England made repeated assaults on the island but was unable to seize it due to the Abbey's improved fortifications. The English initially besieged the Mont in 1423-24, and then again in 1433-34 with English forces under the command of Thomas de Scales, 7th Baron Scales. Two wrought iron bombards that Scales abandoned when he gave up his siege are still on site. They are known as Les Michelettes. The wealth and influence of the Abbey extended to many daughter foundations, including St. Michael's Mount in Cornwall. However, its popularity and prestige as a center of pilgrimage waned with the Reformation, and by the time of the French Revolution there were scarcely any monks in residence.
the abbey was closed and converted into a prison, initially to hold clerical opponents of the Republican regime. High-profile political prisoners followed, but by 1836, influential figures, including Victor Hugo, had launched a campaign to restore what was seen as a national architectural treasure. The prison was finally closed in 1863. During the occupation of France in World War II, German soldiers occupied Mont Saint-Michel, where they used St. Auburn Church as a lookout post. The island was a major attraction for German tourists and soldiers with around 325,000 German tourists from July 18, 1940, to the end of the occupation of France. In the 11th century, William of Volpiano, the Italian architect who had built Facom Abbey in Normandy, was chosen by Richard II, Duke of Normandy, to be the building contractor. He designed the Romanesque Church of the Abbey, daringly placing the transept crossing at the top of the mound. Many underground crypts and chapels had to be built to compensate for this weight, these formed the basis for the supportive upward structure that can be seen today. Today Mont Saint-Michel is seen as a building of Romanesque architecture. The contribution of the Romanesque period is still visible in the nave of the Abbey Church, whose crossing is supported by the rock summit, and in a group of conventual staggered buildings, the chaplaincy or gallery of Aquilon, the covered gallery of the monks of which the vault, constructed after 1103, would be one of the earliest examples of ribbed vaulting. Mont Saint-Michel is one of the most important sites of medieval Christian civilization. Despite the turbulent history of the Mont and the destruction of the earlier part of the church, the integrity of the ensemble of the site and the abbey is effective. The restorations of the 19th century have given back their dignity to the buildings and their emblematic aspect, notably with the construction of the spire in 1897. The village has conserved its ancient constructions, 